pre-show dance because it's the students <laughs> and the teachers from Spring Ford 8th grade center in Royersford, Pennsylvania. But today they are here in my classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are smarter than their teachers. And goodness gracious, I am excited because today we got cash. We got bragging rights. It's all on the line. So let's start the show. It's pop quiz time. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, everybody, the timer is up, which means pop quiz starts right now. Here we go. The color pink is a tint of what primary color? First one in, press Red. It. Red is right. Carbohydrates are biological molecules made from just three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and what? Mr. Perry. Oxygen. That's going to tie the game. What is 16 divided by 2? Here we go, Miss Pinard. 8. That's right. Extra credit question. I'm going to double the points. Here we go. What pink round video game character calls Dreamland on the planet Popstar their home? Presley. Kirby? Kirby with a question mark is right. You take the lead. Birmingham, Montgomery, and Mobile are three major cities in what U.S. state, Mr. Perry? Alabama. Alabama is right. What is the name of the bite-sized teardrop-shaped pieces of Hershey's chocolate that typically come individually wrapped in silver foil? Presley. Kisses. Kisses is right. During the American Civil War, Rose O'Neill Greenhow was a spy for which side of the conflict? Presley. British. Mm. For the steal. Confederates? Confederacy is correct. In math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are the four basic what? Miss Pinard. Operations. Operations is right. What a run! Everybody breathe. Teachers, 10 point lead after the round gets you to 50 points. Everybody jumping in to help there. It's great to see. And how about it, students? A little bit of swag out of the tunnel. Here we go. <laughs> Grab those 40 points from their teachers. And that is how we play this game. Today, we have the students and teachers from Spring Ford 8th grade center. That's right. That's right in Montgomery County. It's home of the Rams. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm student council president. I play travel soccer and I am in honors orchestra. And I know we're not in school, but these teachers about to get schooled. Hi, I'm Presley Parker, student government vice president, and I'm about to take these teachers down. Hi, uh, my name's Anthony Birmingham. I run track for eighth grade, and a uh, shout out to my boys back home. I'm Sarah Pennard. I teach eighth grade reading. Spoiler alert, this story ends with a teacher victory. Hi, I'm Mrs. Grant. I teach eighth grade English, and I actually know how to take these kids back to school. Hi, I'm Joe Perry. I'm one of the music teachers, and we have some great, smart students at Springboard, but we have smarter teachers. All right, and that's how you meet some players. Listen, there's something special about teachers being on this show. And as I look left, I say, wow, look at this team. But there's also something special about teachers following directions during this game. And to get the points, you need to buzz in. And unfortunately, Miss Pinard, you did not buzz during the Civil War question. You just called it out. So students can help me with this one. We are going to remove 10 points from your team. And look at that. We got ourselves a tie ball game as we send it to detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All righty. So, guys, one of you will double up your points this round and grab that 80 to 40 lead. I love a tie game. But since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. You get first dibs on category. Let's take a look. Here it is, sports. Do no. so you guys want to pass or play on sports? sports? I think I can get it. Okay, we're going to play. We're gonna You're going to play it. it. Here is your question. 
What country won the World Cup in 2022 by defeating France in a penalty kick shootout? What a game it was. Need an answer, guys. USA. Wait, no. Incorrect. We were looking for Argentina. Argentina. And I heard you guys say it. I heard you say it, but you went USA. Teachers. You guys get to get rid of Charlotte, Presley, or Anthony. Presley. Presley. Yep. Presley. Presley. <laughs> our eighth grader, <laughs> vice president, out of the game. The good news is, Presley, you can be the vice president of detention now. And just make as many rules as you want as you wait for another player. Teachers, your category. Television. Yeah, we'll, we'll play. OK, here you go. John B. enlists his friends to help him look for a sunken treasure linked to his father's disappearance in what 2020 Netflix series? We need an answer. Sunken Deep? Wow, what a title for a show, but no, that's not correct. You could tell you're a writer, that seemed good. The answer would have been Outer Banks, but students, and by the way, fantastic show. Uh, you got to send one of your teachers to detention. Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry, our music oh. teacher. He goes, he joins our VP. You two can talk about who's the leader over there, right? As we go back to our students as they get comfortable, here is your category, social studies. We're gonna pass. Pass it to our reading and English teacher. Here we go. What title was given to a professional officer in the ancient Roman army who commanded centurion. about 100 men? A centurion. A centurion is right to pass, comes back to haunt the students. Oh no, they take the two to one lead. Who's going to detention, Anthony or Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte, leaving Anthony by himself. Oh no, okay, detention gets a little crowded. Here we go, teachers. The category goes back to you, and here's your question. Excuse me, category, human body, pass or play? Play, play. We'll play. Here you go. In the human body, what is the term for any change or signal in the environment that makes the nervous system react and triggers a response? Oh, yeah. Stimulus? Stimulus is right. That gets the bell. Anthony, you go to detention. Mr. Perry, come join your team because the round is a wash and just like that. Teachers, you take the 80 point lead here, grab 80 on the board. You stay right there because when we come back, art class is next. Talk about who's drawing. We'll see you after the break. Thanks for sticking with us on the show today. The students and teachers from Springford 8th grade center in Monco. But you guys know the drill. I'm standing next to the easel. We're going to art class. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, you guys. So just get it right on the first guess. It's going to go well, Presley. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. Now, you guys just lost 40 points in attention. You're going to want to grab it back here in art class. Here's your question, red or blue? Red. Blue, stand back here. You open that up and put this red card away. So we are ready for it. And that's what you're drawing. Oh, okay. Okay? And you're going to have five seconds when I say go. Time starts now. Okay. 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 Let's see how well they did. You guys ready? Talk it out. Lollipop. Is that your answer? Yeah. Okay, Anthony's sitting right there and he wants to play too. But yes, Lollipop is the right answer. 30 points, Presley grabs that. 10 points now, you're gonna switch it up with Mrs. Grant. Okay, that's exactly how I thought that would go. She's the president of student council, so why ask anybody else how to do it? All right, I give this one to you, Mrs. Grant. You open that up, stand back here so your team can't see. 
we've already taken 10 points from you. All right, okay. that's what you're drawing. You ready? Yeah. Time starts right now. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, nice. You guys ready? Let's ready hear you. Go. Let's hear you talk this one out. What is it? I think it's the uh, chimney so coming yeah, off a house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Go ahead. Chimney. Chimney is yeah. right, and that grabs you another 30 points. Did you see how that was done, Charlotte? There was communication and teamwork. <laughs> it was awesome. All right, I flipped this board around. I'll tell you what. I'm a pretty nice guy. Let's get into some extra credit. All right, teams, your uh, extra credit question is coming up, and they're going to be worth 10 points each. You're going to have a minute during the commercial break to write down that correct answer. But here's your question. The British Parliament taxed the colonies with the Sugar and Stamp Acts as a way to raise money after what war? All right, 10 points on the line. You at home, I hope you're enjoying the show. Stay with us because we come back. Spring Ford carries on. Only one team comes out on top. We'll see you after the break. All right, let's do this. You guys, nice round, nice round, nice round. That's what I'm talking about. Miss Grant, I love it. To the show today we have the students and teachers from spring ford eighth grade center right in monco teachers you played well here so far 110 points to your name and currently the lead but students i am talking biting at their heels all game long you're not going anywhere and you're in striking distance here to keep keep the win in this thing so good luck everybody now before the break i asked both teams this extra credit question and this was it the british parliament taxed the colonies with the sugar and stamp acts as a way to raise money after what war? Here we go, Charlotte. We're gonna start with you. The French and Indian War. Is right, and grabs you, gets to go up to 80 points. Nicely done. Here we go, teachers. How about you guys? We also said the French and Indian War. All right, there it is, back and forth. They clearly teach that at your school. <laughs> All right, students, if you guys win 500 bucks, where's it going? Uh, we're putting it back in the student uh, activities fund. Nice. Just we're, to do activities and stuff. We're looking to get new equipment, especially for the announcements, because right now all the equipment's down. All right, cool. Well, that would go a long way for you guys. And teachers, how about you? We will be donating the money to the Bill Research Memorial Scholarship, which is for a dear colleague of ours who passed away, and it goes towards scholarships for students interested in a health or phys ed uh, college program. That's awesome. You sure you don't want to go to Cancun with the squad? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, can I entice you into a trip? <laughs> I like that. That's a great place to put it. I have to ask, Charlotte Presley, you guys are the president and vice president of student council? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you run together? Did you run against each other? How'd that work? Um, like a, well, you a had bunch of people ran. Like, and a bunch of people ran. You had the right This is exactly speech. how their relationship works. Okay? <laughs> they both just talk at the same time and get stuff done. Anthony, yeah. it's good to see you. I, I did say Anthony at the top of the show. What's your favorite class? And you responded with? Gym class. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But you're, you're a pretty fast runner, man. You do track? Yeah. Uh, what specifically? Uh, this year I'm doing 100 meter. So uh, you're fast jumps. then? Yeah. All right, future wide receiver for the birds right there. Yeah. Go Eagles. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you say we take a field trip? I'm dying to get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, so be careful. Steals are back in play. Today, we are taking a field trip to the Pennsylvania Farm Show. I love that place. See what you know about farm animals, and why wouldn't we? So Jen Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. She's already out there. She's asking the questions. Welcome to the show, Jen. I am at the Pennsylvania Farm Show 2023 where you can do some pretty cool stuff like goat yoga. So your first question of course is about goats. At birth both male and female baby goats are called what? First one in Presley. Kit. 
hit it right nicely. Did I get you up to 90 points? Are you a goat connoisseur? No. Okay, I'm not gonna ask how you know that then. Good, good, good one. And we move to question number two. Jen, make this one a little bit harder if you could. Ooh, the cheese competition. There is a destination dairy exhibit. It features Moo You, an interactive area for kids of all ages. Speaking of dairy cows, technically these farm animals have only one stomach, but it is divided into how many digestive compartments? First one in, Presley again. Four. Four is right. Presley, are you a cow connoisseur? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, she's not that either. I can't wait for you to tell us why you know so much about barnyard animals. Here we go, Jen. What do you say we put one more up there? Let's do it. And your last question about farm animals is this. What kind of farm animal is Peppa Pig's best friend, Susie? Of course, Presley. A sheep? A sheep is right, and that is what we call a sweep of the round. Presley, I mean, that is that is unbelievable. Now you have to tell everyone at home. I'm not a sheep connoisseur. Okay, that's, <laughs> but a Peppa Pig one nonetheless. Well, hopefully you don't find any muddy puddles as you're on that field trip. Big <laughs> that was the worst, I'm sorry. Hey, big thanks to Jen Fred for leading our field trip today. She always does such a great job. And let's take a look at the scores. Teachers still holding that lead, but only by 10. <laughs> Students oh. have crawled within 10 points of winning this thing. And who does? Well, guess what, guys, looking at the time, this Things a wrap. We're headed to final exam. <laughs> the topic today's final exam is barnyard animals. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fun and games. All right, I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Now, guys, each correct answer will be worth 100 points. Quick math tells me there's 300 points up for grabs. You're going to work together as a squad during commercial break. But first, I want you to relax. No writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions, and here's the first. What Philadelphia professional sports team plays their home games in a stadium named Subaru Park? Question number two, fun and games, final exam. What YouTube star is known for hosting a popular show called Game Theory, where he uses science and math to explain logic, accuracy, and the lore of video games. I happen to love that channel. And finally, in the original Uno card game, what is the name of the card that changes the color being played and can be played at any time? Hopefully you are an Uno connoisseur. All right, those are the questions. 300 points, 60 seconds on the clock when we come back. Will it be my students? Will it be their teachers? Only one team aces this final exam and walks away a champion. We'll see you right after the break. TV here. I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? Because this game is incredible. Welcome back to the show. We have the students and teachers from Spring Ford 8th grade center in Montgomery County going head to head. Hey, teachers holding the 10 point lead here going into the final exam. They're sweating just as much as I am. And students are over here saying, whatever, dude, we're just here to win. Well, can they? And that's the question. Listen, we learned the topic of the final exam, which is fun and games, and I saw Anthony start smiling ear to ear. He's like, let's go, let's do this. <laughs> hey, I also do gotta give you one shot. You get, you said you wanted to shout out to your fellas a little bit earlier in the show. Oh, yeah. Give him a message right now. What do you want to say to him? Oh, uh, taking it home for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> we should do an athlete right here. Let's uh, go. I'm ready this. to run through a brick wall after that. Let's go. <laughs> Don't let these guys down, all right? All right, three questions, teams. All of them are worth 100 points. So let's do it. Who aces my exam? We find out right now with question number one. What Philadelphia professional sports team plays their home games in a stadium named Subaru Park? 
And we're gonna start with the trailing team, so students, let's kick it to you. Philadelphia Union. That's correct, and how about it? For the first time today, you guys are in the lead. Hopefully, Mr. Perry, Mrs. Grant, Ms. Pinar know nothing about soccer. You find <laughs> out right now, what'd you say? We said the Union. We'll also accept that, get you back in the lead by 10 points, and we move to question two. What YouTube star is known for hosting a popular show called Game Theory, where he uses science and math to explain logic, accuracy, and the lore of video games? One of my favorite channels. Presley, did you know it? We said Matt Pat. Matt Pat is right, takes the lead back, 310 points. Mrs. Grant, here we go, you said. We said Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> what a guess, but incorrect. Here we go, and we move to our final question with students in the lead. In the original Uno card game, what is the name of the card that changes the color being played and can be played at any time? Teachers, you have to get this right to stay in the game, otherwise students win. You said. We said wild. Gonna get you up to 320 and the 10 point lead. Here we go. Charlotte, what did you say for the win? We also said wild. $500 oh, the students have upset their teachers. Come on out here and grab the check, you guys. Teachers, get out here. What a game. And look what we got the man, the myth, the principal making it all happen. Hey, thank you guys for being here. This is what it's all about. Get your school down here as soon as you possibly can. We'll be back next time with a brand new gift to the classroom and a whole new school. We'll see you next time. What a game, you guys.